sorry everyone, I was just having a conversation with Craig about our plans. We've got a blackback jackal, and this is exactly what we were talking about. I was thinking that maybe we should head around on the road and actually try and catch up to it. It's not particularly skittish, um, a little bit nervous as it should be, uh, but fairly relaxed. So let's, uh, let's go up and see if we can get a better view of it. We were just talking about how I would like to see a jackal catching a scrubber, and Craig would also be excited by that. He was just saying how he is enjoying the jackal sightings lately. We don't have such good high quality jackal sightings in the Sabi sand. Well, well, not up in the north. I can't really think of a sighting that's really stood out to me. I mean, we used to have some nice ones on the Arethusa airstrip. There's our very sad mangy friend that lives at Chitra. I wonder if it's still alive. And who else? I've had some cool sightings in the Eastern Cape of blackback jackal though. Really nice ones, lots of dens and that type of thing. Oh, I'm sure. Where'd you go? Are you at the tree? I think it's at the tree now. We'll have a look. Please don't run away from us, Jackal. We just want to watch you. We want you to watch and learn about jackals being jackals. Okay, it's just stopped and looking at us now. On a patrol looking for something. Looking for something to eat at the moment. Now, Christine, you're wondering what are the differences between a blackback and a side-striped jackal. Well, a uh, blackback jackal, firstly, is slightly smaller in size. A side-stripe is much larger. Uh, the side-stripe is also a lot more stockier, and it's got, it seems to have a bigger head uh, and, and more of a fluffier coat. Uh, whether it's just because it's more heavy set, I'm not so sure. So, in my opinion, the blackback jackals are slightly more slight and slender. And then, of course, you can see that black stripe now going uh, along the the side of the body, and then the dark back, almost like a German shepherd with a very, very dark tail. Uh, it's a, it's not like that with a side striped jackal. No, a side striped jackal, you'll see, is a lot a lot lighter in colour. This is so cool. Um, they eat the same thing, their diet's no different. I wonder what it's going to be looking for tonight. Let me actually give you a bit of extra light there. It's a bit far away. Uh, it could go for anything. I mean, they also eat insects and bugs, so maybe they're going to be a contender for who eats the most bugs in Africa. Craig, what's on the right-hand side? I just saw some... What's that? Oh, my gosh, there's the scrub hair. There is the scrub hair and the jackal. Please go for it. It's running towards it. I'm not sure what it's going to do. Are you going to chase after it? It looks like it wants to. No ways. Go, 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 jackal. Sorry, scrub here. I'm cheering the jackal on. I can't believe that I... That's, oh, it is, it's chasing it. I can't see it. It's going after it. No, it's giving up. No. <laughs> that is honestly unbelievable. I cannot believe that I asked the world. I put those vibes out there and said I would like to see a scrub hair being eaten by a jackal. Didn't quite get to see that happen. That's okay though. How amazing just to see the chase. Wow. Okay. We've gone, they've gone quite far away. Let's go up. Maybe it's going to tail after that scrub hair. That scrub hair is very quick though. Um, but used a different technique. It was obviously out in the road. It was completely exposed. It knew it couldn't try and stalk it. So just sort of trotted on towards it and then raced for it they will try and stalk as well they'll they'll sneak through the long grass and then often they'll pounce up and then land down on their prey much like what a leopard would do if it was hunting in the in the long grass okay well i'll see our, our jackal friend so i'm gonna try and catch up to it and maybe we get another view that was really amazing i hope you enjoyed that just as much as craig and i did brent however has got a rather large mammal that is done swimming for the day and is feeling a little bit hungry.